Okay, so what I have here is I have a stun gun getting into this diode. The bias marks on this end, okay, towards the stun gun. Through a cap, through my through an extended spark cap. It's not at the stun gun anymore, it's out here. This runs in a loop, runs through this mag amp, which is a one to one, and back to the stun gun. So the spark does not happen here, the spark happens out there. So I extended the spark gap from the gun out to this set of nails. Now, off the mag amp, then what I did was I hooked this capacitor, and there's a slight gap right there. Even if it's touching, I can go like this. I'll exaggerate it. But that's what it's like, okay? And then the mag amp itself, which is one to one. So what I've done is by firing the stun gun, I get one, two, three gaps across here. It sees this extra conductor as least resistance, and it shoots across here, this way, from this end to this end. So it jumps out of here, around here, and jumps here. Not only does it go through the, not only does it go through the gap here, but it also jumps across the gap here. Which I find that kind of, I find that quite strange, because there's really no there's no conduction path out here except for an, a an AC loop. I'm not really sure about that, but I do get sparks across here. I get the spark there, and I get the um, external spark across this one. And I've done different size capacitors here, different size capacitors here. Doesn't seem to matter. Doesn't seem to slow it down. Uh, it just keeps firing away. I can't do it with the cameras on. Well, I'll tell you what. I'll try it with the camera on so you can see, I and mean, hopefully the camera won't fry. There's that one. There's that one. You can see the one in the magam. See the two in the magam? Or cover with a shadow. See them? There. They are crossing between these two guys, going this way, from this run, from this primary to the secondary. Now remember, this is a one-to-one. -one. What I'm going to do next is hook in this guy here. This is my iron core, big beast. Um, I got like 320 turns here, and about 12 turns, I'm sorry, 320 turns in the 30 gauge, and about 12 turns in the 22 gauge. Um, so. I'm not going to fire one on top of the other yet. I'm going to make this a primary and this a secondary and replace this mag amp with this bigger one from a ferrite to a copper, uh, sorry, to, a, to an iron one. I bought these off iron head. Thank you. Anyway, that's all for now. I will hook this up and do the next test.